Wait, what? Who the heck is that guy? Oh, these are rubbers. Are you kidding me right now? That looks like a pipe from sewers. Of course, the sewers. That must be where all the sewage is coming from. Nice work, Santin. You just might crack this case yet. Hey, I was wondering, just who is the boss anyway? Hello everybody and welcome back to more shenanigans in Sneaky Sasquatch. My name is of course Constantine and in today's episode we are going to be focusing on trying to get ourselves promoted to uh, being a detective because I do want to start working on finding a solution for the lake in the park uh, because that is of course the main story here and I do feel like in order to fix that up we will also need to finish up the uh, scuba diving gear upgrading it completely. Uh, if you guys missed the previous episode we actually managed to get the scuba diving gear really close to upgrading it fully. Uh, we still need to find quite a few more trash in the waters of course around the map in order to uh, finish that up but before we jump into the waters again i just want to start going back on the roads to try to write a few more tickets for the drivers and uh, get ourselves some more money while we're at it why not so without further ado sit back everybody relax and uh, let me show you guys a great way to make a lot of money in sticky sasquatch all right so of course first thing is first we are gonna have to drive uh, all the way to the left side right over here there we go, just like that. Let me park up the car. Uh, I'm also going to have to feed my puppy here, Pixel, a little bit because apparently he is starving right now, poor guy. Hey, buddy. No, 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 don't eat that. I got other things for you. I'm not going to give you the uh, bad fishies. You definitely don't want to eat this fish. <laughs> Most definitely don't want to eat this fish. They have been living in the uh, sewers, so uh, yeah, you most of them don't want to eat that. So, first thing is first, in order to make a lot of money in this latest update, you are gonna need the uh, speed gun right over here. Let me plant this one on this side, just like that. And let me just jump on the vehicle. Now, what I am gonna do here, I am gonna try to push people into the speedometer there, just so that they are gonna have more speed than they usually do. Alright, so this guy is going to be, uh, be pushed just like that. There we go. Look at that. He actually went over the limit because we actually pushed them. Once you do that, all we got to do next is just jump out of the vehicle. Go right in front over here. He doesn't have anything in his trunk. So, because of that, I am actually going to put an apple. Close it down. Let me just ask for his license. Alright, there we go. We got his license. Next up, let me check the computer. Let's see what we can find. Uh, so, uh, he does have everything in order here, except for the speed, of course. Everything in order here. Alright, so in this case, we're just gonna give him a fee for... Let's see, we're gonna write a ticket for speeding, which is gonna be 125. And another uh, ticket for unsecured hood cargo, because we just... That's why we put that apple in his trunk. Ah, jeez, sorry, officer. I got a lead on foot. <laughs> Alright, look at that. 200 275 points. Easy. Really, really easy way to make money. Uh, before I'm gonna ask for his license again. Ooh, he already has some stuff in here. Perfect. I'm not gonna even bother. Hey, buddy. Good day to you. Give me your license, buddy. You are in big trouble. Alright, so, first of all, the speed. And second, that... That's it, actually. Yeah, we don't have to do anything else. Alright, so, the first uh, ticket is going to be for the speed. And the next one is going to be for the cargo. Alright, look at that. Again, 275 points. Perfect. What more do you want? Let me keep on waiting for more people over here. Uh, unfortunately, we did not manage to push that guy, but that's okay. Let's just wait for more. Alright, we gotta push this guy. Come on, come on, come on, push him. There we go. We got him. Perfect. <laughs> I know that this is not the right way to do it, but uh, this is the way I'm doing it. And let me tell you guys, I'm getting a lot of money by doing this. And look at that. I'm actually gonna grab these fries from this fella. I'm actually gonna grab this as well. Why not? I'm just gonna give him a uh, big fee. For just the onions. Alright, let's see here. So, um... 79 and ooh, he requires glasses, so I'm gonna give him a ticket for this as well. Perfect. Alright, buddy. Let's see here. So I'm gonna write him a ticket for speeding 
for not wearing glasses and for the cargo as well. Look at that, 325 coins. That is a lot, and I love it. All right, I want to push this guy up. Uh, take it, I did not manage to push him. No, oh, we lost it. That's okay. Let me just keep on waiting for more. Thankfully, we haven't gotten any um, any calls from the chief. Because I definitely don't want to get demoted. Alright, buddy. There we go. Perfect. We got him. Uh, yes, I need to see a library license. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to put anything in his trunk anymore. Oh, he already has stuff in his trunk. Never mind. He actually has a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I think this is actually a... Uh, Bun! Hmm. Is this a bun? This is definitely a bun. Hey, I think I'm gonna grab that. Hold it for myself. Uh, let me check his license here. So he was speeding, and that's about it. Alright, anyway. Let me give this guy a ticket. So he was definitely speeding. And the goods. Alright, we got 275 once again. That is perfect. Now, before I carry on doing this, uh, we are going to have to get ourselves some sleep here. Because we're really, really tired at the moment. And I am going to continue with this the next day. I think we are really close to becoming Detective. And I'm really, really curious to see what that's going to be all about. I hope we are going to get a new outfit as well. Not just a promotion. Alright, the thing is... I mean, yeah, we, we have enough food. We're good. We still have enough food for contraband, which is great. There we go. Let me grab the fishy and grab the spice. Grab this one and maybe the apple or something. Alright, let's see. The thing is, I do have to feed my puppy as well, which is not good. Um, hold up. Can I actually put something in my fridge here? Oh, we got a lot of oranges. I do want to get rid of this one. Just leave it in there, the bun. <laughs> I am going to want to make a sausage really soon. Alright, buddy. Good boy. Good canine puppy. Love it. Alright, we're done with this one. Let me give you a little bit of food here. There we go. And again, as I was saying, I think I'm going to have to go in the supermarket uh, to try to have some contraband food. So, let me just drive to the supermarket first, before we do anything. Alright, there we go. First thing is first. I do need to get a lot of uh, food in my backpack here. Hold up, buddy. I gotta go through here. Perfect. And I'm not gonna even bother about grabbing oranges or anything anymore. All I wanna do is just fill up my backpack on all this stuff. Just because this is gonna be considered the contraband. Alright, let me grab all the stuff go let me go ahead and grab some of this stuff as well why not all right there we go we got a full backpack and now all we got to do is just uh of course run away from the cops i know i am a cop myself but that's okay oh god this guy almost caught me wow that was so close i don't even know how i got away from that i don't even know how i got away with that <laughs> all right there we go we're fine we're fine that was really really close uh, next up, I gotta make my way back to my vehicle. Uh, at the same time, I am gonna have to get this speed gun ready. Alright, and next up, let me go with the vehicle um, on the highway and start getting more tickets. There you go. I was planning to actually push this guy, but uh, never mind. Please don't arrest me. Let's see here. Ooh, we got some contrabands. Interesting. Alright. Give me a license, buddy. Alright, let's see. So, this guy was also speeding up on his own. I didn't even have to push him. And also, he already had contraband. I didn't have to do that for him. Uh, but, the rest of it seems to be all good. So, I'm just gonna ticket him for speeding. And driving with merchandise. Alright, look at that. We're almost done. We're gonna be done with this mission in no second. In no time. Uh, let me try to push this fella up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. You know what's it. You know what you did. There you go. 
All right, let's see. So first of all, uh, ooh, we got contrabands. Perfect. All right, buddy. Let me see your license. I think we gotta ride about two more, three more tickets, and we should be all good. Oh my god, that old guy was speeding like crazy. Ooh, he has no insurance. No insurance and no glasses. Um, I'm pretty sure he had no glasses, right? Yeah, he definitely has no glasses and no insurance. All right, let's write down a ticket. So it's gonna be this. It's gonna be the speed. Uh, no insurance and no glasses. Whoa, 375. That is a lot. I love it. All right, let me try to push somebody through this side then. Come on. Ooh, look at this guy. This guy is a hard worker, poor guy. I almost don't want to do it. But, uh, nope. We are going to do it to everybody. Everybody's going to suffer. Agent Sasquatch needs to save the park again. Ooh, he's got pizza. All right. Hey, buddy, give me a license. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. We got... Ooh, no insurance. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. He's gonna have to pay a lot here. Alright. Cargo. Uh, drive without insurance and speed. There we go. And look at that. We are completely done with the missions. That is awesome. Alright, let's, uh, let's just make our way now to the police station so that we can get promoted. Really curious if uh, this is gonna be it. Am I actually gonna be uh, promoted to detective? Because if I am, I'm really curious to see what I'm gonna have to do next in order to uh, save the lake. Move out of the way! I'm on important missions here. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. Let's see. Alright, buddy, what you got for me this time? Officer Stanton, just who I wanted to see. Let's head into the briefing room. I have an announcement to make. Alright, let's go. Alright, pipe down, everyone. That goes double for you, Stanton. <laughs> That's better. Now, let's go over your assignments. Kowalski, we're still getting Sasquatch sightings. Keep that thing away from the town. You got it, Chief. Powell, I'm getting reports of animals racing golf carts at night. Look at it. Yes, sir. Stanton, I know you've been working hard for a big promotion, so congratulations. From now on, you're Detective Stanton. There we go. We've done it, guys. Man, let me tell you, this has been quite a lot of work, but, but let me tell you, guys, I do not mind this at all because doing all this police work has actually given us a lot of money, and uh, I'm definitely going to have to create a guide on how to make a lot of money in Sneaky Sasquatch using this strategy. Because I have a feeling this might actually be the best one. The best way to make money in Stinky Sasquatch so far. Your first assignment is to investigate that mysterious sludge that's, fo that's following up the lake. There's something fishy going on there. You'll need to search the bottom of the lake for clues. You own some scuba diving gear, right? Yeah, buddy, we do. Excellent. Use the scuba diving gear to search the lake and get the photographic evidence of whatever of whatever is causing all the pollution. A new photo request has been added to your photo album. Dismissed. Ah. Hold up. Now I'm curious. Am I actually going to be able to use the camera underwater? Oh, hold up. Apparently we got a message here. Obtain scuba diving gear and camera if required. I mean, we got both of them. Take photo of evidence of what's causing the lake pollution and bring it to the police chief. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's going to be our next mission. All right, well, uh, Sasquatch on duty, I guess. Let's keep on going. Let's see what we can do next. Now, before I go to uh, the lake here, I want to make a quick pit stop at the camera shop. I want to see if I can actually buy some uh, secret camera gear from Camera Club. Something that's going to allow me to maybe take photos underwater. You are one of the best phot photographers I've seen. So she's not really saying anything. Hmm. She's just giving me camera film, but I already have that. 
yeah i don't see any uh underwater photography gear that we can use around here so probably the camera is just gonna work um let me at the same time switch to the camera there we go let me get this on to this one and yeah that should work all right come on k9 pixel let's keep on going all right, so uh, next up, I do have to make my way to the campgrounds over here, uh, just so that we can access the lakeside through this side. I know exactly what's causing the pollution. The thing is, I'm definitely gonna have to go in the sewers uh, to figure out how to stop it. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a thing. So if I make my way through the bottom, there we go. And now let me go all the way to this side because this is where that issue is. All right, look at that. Now, we can also go ahead and clean this up. Why not? Because we still need to collect, I think, 250 more uh, recycling elements in order for me to get the final upgrade for my uh, scuba gear. And we are really close, actually. We got 92 so far. That is awesome. All right, look at that. This is the pipe that's causing the issue. Uh, let me, first of all, remove the tire. And then I'm going to take a photo of this. I love it how the puppy is also pooping in the lake. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're not helping. I'm trying to clean this place up. All right, let me take a photo of this. All right, look at that. Nice photo. This photo works great for one of your photo requests. It will be stored in your photo album until you turn it in. Yep, I know, I know. That's exactly what I needed to do. Uh, because I'm going to have to turn this into uh, the police station. Uh, I'm really curious if I got to take photos of... The plane here as well. You know what? I should go ahead and try and do that. Why not? While we're at it. Yeah, let me go ahead and do it. Yeah, I'm gonna save it in the album, whatever. At the moment, I know there's no request to do this, but maybe in the future there might be some requests uh, to save these. But at the moment, we got the photo that we needed. Uh, let me switch back to Officer, Sa Officer Sasquatch. And let me drive back to the town then, because we do have to deliver this photo. Uh, oh, hold up. At the same time, I do have to make sure I'm going to go and uh, wash myself somewhere. Hold up. Let me try to do that. Let me try to wash myself inside here. There we go. Much better. <laughs> and next up, we are going to have to drive all the way back to town, of course. Come on, puppy. We got to go. Yeah, I know we got mail, but uh, don't worry about it. I know what I gotta do. Let's just keep on going. We got irrefutable proof about the situation in the lake. Uh, you know what? Let me try to get some extra money as well. Why not? Why the heck not? Hmm, let's see. Hmm, you know what? I think you got some contraband in here, buddy. Give me a license. I'll add it. Why not do a little bit of this? Also, let's see what the mail is saying. Uh, obtain scuba diving gear. Take the photo. Yeah, we've already done that. Don't worry about it. And everything seems to be in order. So all I can uh, write a ticket to this guy is for unsecured hood cargo. You find a tomato out of my hood? I guess it was bound to happen sooner or later. Look at that. 150 coins. I'm not gonna say no to that. Can we actually stop this guy again? What? Can we seriously do that? If we could actually stop this guy again and get 150 more coins for him again, that's gonna be crazy. Anyway, I don't think you can, yeah. You definitely cannot stop the same people all over again. But I'm gonna try to stop this guy. Stop! Stop right now! In the name of law. Dang it. I lost them. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's keep on going. Can I actually write a ticket to this fella? He doesn't want to stop. Hey, buddy. You better not have thumb thingy here. You got broccoli. All right, there we go. We got driver's license. Let's see. Can we get 150 coins? That would be awesome if you can. 
Mm, ooh, license expired. That is bad. Really bad, buddy. Really, really bad. Driving without license. Uh, there we go. And cargo. There we go. Look at that. 200 points. Much better. Alright, and finally, let me just deliver the photos here to the uh, chief. Let's see what he's gonna say about this. I'm pretty sure he's gonna want me to uh, do a little bit of detective work inside the sewers once we're done with this. Pretty sure about that. Alright, there we go. Chief, you won't believe what I found. Well, have you found a photo evidence at the lake? Yeah, buddy. You found something. Let me see. That looks like a pipe from sewers. Of course, the sewers. That must be where all the sewage is coming from. Nice work, Santin. You just might crack this case yet. Now, get down to the sewers and see if there's anything suspicious going on. There's a uh, manhole surrounded by traffic cones. You can use it to get down there. Here, write down the uh, passcode uh, into the uh, pump room. Ah, look at this. He's actually giving me the passcode for the pump room, uh, which is going to be 3885. Are you serious right now? Hold up, before I forget this... <laughs> let me actually take a photo of this so I don't forget. Uh, of course, I know that it's gonna be 3885. It's gonna be really easy. But apparently this is how you get the code for the pump room. The mayor says that I'm not supposed to give this information to anyone. So uh, keep this between us, okay? Keep an eye out on any suspicious looking characters down there. Hmm... That is really interesting. Alright, buddy. Well, I guess uh, it's time we're going to go inside the sewers then and investigate a little bit. That's going to be really awesome. I love it. Alright, come on, Agent Pixel. We're on a mission here, buddy. Uh, we got to go right over here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, scrap in order to uh, upgrade my gear some more. But I think we might be good. I think we may be good here. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go straight to the right side. Right over here. There we go. Because we do have the code for the storage. Oh, actually, hold up. 388. No, 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 no. Hold up. Uh, it's 3. No. This lag is killing me. 3885. Alright, so this is the storage room actually. We don't have the code for the storage room. Uh, we actually have the code for the um, pump room, which is gonna be down below here instead. <laughs> I love it that we're putting the uh, puppy in the backpack whenever we're going down the stairs. That is awesome. Alright, let's see here. So, the code is gonna be... Oh, it's actually written up here, so we don't have to remember it. Alright, well, it's gonna be 3, 8, 8, and 5. Look at that! We got it. Perfect. All right, come on, puppy. We gotta find out what's happening. Hmm. And apparently we got a uh, new location here. Wait, what? Who the heck is that guy? Oh, these are rubbers. Are you kidding me right now? What the? Oh, these are goons. Come on, hurry up! Come on, hurry up! We gotta get these barrels of sewage ready before the boss shows up. I wonder who the boss is though. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Hey, I was wondering, just who is the boss anyway? Um, I don't know, he didn't give his name. Huh? That's weird. Look, he's paying us to pollute the lake. Not ask him questions about his personal life. He's coming later around 9 p.m. to check on our progress. I want this new batch ready for him when he gets here. Is he coming at 9 p.m.? Seriously? Get back to work! Hold on a minute. I don't like that. So apparently, the boss is coming at around 9 p.m. Uh, it is 8 p.m. So if you wait here a little bit, is their boss actually going to show up? Hold up, before we do anything, I do want to take some photos. Um, yeah, let me try to take a little bit of photos here. Why not? Just like that. Nice photo. 
Uh, the thing is, maybe I gotta take a photo of the boss. Uh, let me try something. Let me try to zoom in 8x. I wanna zoom in 8x on the papers here and see if I can find something. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, nothing on the papers. But I'm loving this. This is real detective work we're doing here. <laughs> uh, let me edit this to this side, just like that. Perfect. Gotta sneak in, buddy. What's the time? It's almost 8 p.m. Let's see. Please, please, please. Hopefully the boss is gonna come over so I can see who it is. Oh! It's happening! It's definitely happening! Hey, you think the boss will finally pay us this time? Of course! After he sees what we did to the lake, we're going to be rich! I think that's him now. Huh. What the... You idiots! I gave you guys one job, and you didn't do it! What am I even paying you for? But, we pumped all the sewage into the lake, just like you asked! It's so polluted that nobody will ever even go near it. You call that place polluted? I've taken baths in filthy waters. <laughs> Seriously? I wanted that lake ruined. The water should be so polluted that you can't even look at it. Relax, boss. This new batch we've just cooked up is gonna be 100% pure sewage. I'll be the judge of that. Aw, oh, man, I really want to take a photo of him, though. What the heck? Is he drinking it? <laughs> what is happening? Now that's what I'm talking about. With this new type of sewage, we can poison the lake per permanently. Grab as much as you can from the storage room and bring it here. You got it, boss. Uh, boss? Could you repeat the passcode to the storage room? I kind of forgot. Again? Fine, but write it down this time. The passcode is... 6175. Look at that, guys. So apparently this is how we are getting all these passcodes. Uh, for all the doors inside the sewers. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure that Sasquatch is going to remember this one. Uh, I'm just going to take a photo of it just in case. Why not? Just to have it in my records, I guess. 6175. Got it. Now then, if you don't mind, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh god, no! I want to take a photo of this. I want the evidence. Did he really just drink that stuff? Gross. Oh, I think they're leaving. Yeah, they're definitely leaving. Oh man, I was not expecting this, guys. This is really, really awesome. Hold up, let me see if I can actually... Oh, never mind, I... Oh! Ah, that's the storage room, so I'm guessing the way I'm gonna come here is through the storage room. Hold up, buddy, I know you're hungry. Let me give you some food. This is not the time to feed you now, buddy, but uh... I guess we're good. Let me give you one more. Uh, I'm not gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you an apple instead. You definitely wanna eat these fishes, buddy. Alright, let me try to make my way then to uh, the uh, storage room. Man, this is unprecedented. I was not expecting this. I'm loving this update so far. As you guys know, I am a really big, big fan of uh, point-and-click adventure games. Especially point-and-click adventure games that have a little bit of detective work that you gotta do in them. And uh, apparently Stinky Sasquatch is not disappointing at all. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love this. Alright, so in order to get inside the storage room, I'm gonna have to open up this door. And look at that, we got the code. Which is gonna be... S no, not that. Let me try to use the mouse. Uh, it's gonna be 6175. Perfect. We got it. Alright. Uh, hold up, let me try to get myself the flashlight here because I cannot see anything. I wonder if the goods are going to be here anymore. I don't think they are. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't like the goods are anywhere close. Uh, I'm just looking at these boxes, trying to make sure there's no secrets on them. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff here, though. I see an X marks the spot up there, but <laughs> I don't think that's anything important. I think that's just a coincidence, I guess. Yeah, I don't see no codes or anything on that. Let me keep on going through here. Ah, we gotta go below. Look at that. Uh, no secrets on that. 
Oh, never mind. We are gonna have to go underwater. Uh, but thankfully, we have everything upgraded. Hopefully, I don't need too much speed, though. Because I definitely didn't manage to upgrade my gear completely. Um, although, I feel like the speed we have on our propellers here is probably gonna be enough. Oh, no. This is a dead end. Take it. That's not good. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Hopefully, I didn't waste any time there. Wow, this is like a labyrinth. Are you kidding me? This is a complete maze here. And I think we made it. There we go. Perfect. Hey, buddy. You're doing a fine job, buddy. And there we go. We got it. And I feel like if we do stop this one, this may actually be the solution to our problems. Right? Oh, God. These guys are still here? Come on, let me get these barrels open. We'd be finished by now if we didn't take a break and eat all those oranges. <laughs> but my vitamin C was running low. Whatever, let's just get this done. Hands up, everybody. I think we have a problem over here. Hey, quit fooling around and... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please surrender, I don't want to go to jail. You can't arrest us, but the damage is already done. The lake is still polluted, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ha ha ha! We'll see about that, buddy. We will see about that. Well, they could just reverse the pumps, right? I mean, that's what we did. All we had to do was follow the instructions on the... Don't say another word! <laughs> he already told me how to reverse it and fix it. Huh? Oh my god, I have the worst partner ever. Wow, something smells terrible around here. Yeah, buddy. That's me. And uh, guess what? You guys are going to jail for a long, long time. Oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you the pumps can be reversed. <laughs> I love it that they told us. Alright, so, uh... What does this do? I'm guessing this is gonna power them down. Hmm. Hold up, let me just try to read this. Dangers. Danger, do not reverse the flow... While pump is activated. Aha, uh -huh, so we gotta reverse the flow while the pump is deactivated. What we just did, actually. Uh, turn off the power. Reverse the flow level. Reverse the flow lever. Turn on power. And turn on pump. Wait, what? We're in big trouble, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Hold on, how do we do this, though? Uh, read the manual before operating. Oh, this one is... Reversing it, right? Just like that. Uh, this one is also reversing it, just like that. Oh! I don't know what that glitch was. <laughs> but uh, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, turn off power, reverse flow level lever. Turn on power. Now we gotta turn on the power. There we go. And turn on the pumps. Alright, let me turn on the pumps. Here's one. And... Here's the other one. I hope I did it right. Did I? I see that the waters are becoming blue. Yeah, I think we're cleaning it. I think we're doing it. We're definitely doing it, for sure. This is definitely the way to clean it. Look at that. We've done it. Ah, oh, jeez. All my hard work opening those barrels for nothing. <laughs> Someone's coming. I hope it's the boss coming to save us. I hope it's the boss as well because I want to see who the boss is. Nope, it's the cops. Everybody freeze! We have multiple reports of a terrible stench coming from down here. Oh, it's you, Detective Stanton. What are you doing here? Uh, sir, I think Detective Stanton is the stench we're looking for. <laughs> Gross. Have you been swimming around down here? Yes, I did, buddy. Of course. Wait till everyone at the station hears about this. Sir, look at all these barrels of sewage. I bet these two are the ones that are responsible for the lake pollution. Hmm, you're right. They don't look like criminal masterminds, though. Let's ask Detective Stanton. Should we arrest these two? Heck yeah, of course. Okay, you two, you're going straight to jail. I'm sure there was a ringleader in charge of this operation. Who are you working for? Hmm, they're not gonna say. It's a secret. Detective, you should go tell the chief the good news. We'll take care of the things down here. Wow, 
Are you serious right now? And look at the lake. It all looks awesome now. I, I, I don't believe it. The lake. The lake is fixed. You bet your big yellow hat it is. <laughs> How'd you do it? Someone hired some goons to pop sewage into the lake from the sewers. We believe it was an act of revenge, but we don't have any suspects yet. Well, I can't thank you enough. Don't thank me. Thank our expert detective who cracked this case wide open. Ranger, I'd like you to meet Detective Stanton. Oh, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Detective Stanton. Thanks again, Sasquatch. <laughs> he knows I'm a Sasquatch, of course. Love it. Well, Stanton, your methods are a little unorthodox, but I'm happy to have you in our in my department. You're a loose cannon, but you get results. Furthermore, I'm happy to announce you've now been promoted to rank of sergeant. Congratulations. Are you kidding me? Come on, chief. The water's sparkling. Be right back. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Now, the question is... Who the heck was behind all this? You did it, Sasquatch. The lake looks better than ever. It's so beautiful. I want to cry. <laughs> Something is bugging me, though. If it wasn't Mr. Pimpleton, then who was behind all this? I guess we'll have to find out someday. In the meantime, let's party! <laughs> no way! Look at that! We have finished! We have finished another story mode! Well, that was awesome, to tell the truth. And apparently, Mr. Pimpleton is still here. How do you get it? Pimpleton, you've got visitors. Huh? I knew it! I knew it that Mr. Pimpleton was behind all this! I freaking knew it, but to tell the truth, I was actually expecting him to get out of jail and do all this, and uh, not him working from the prison. But of course, this makes sense. This makes complete sense now. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Ah, it's about time you came to see me. It's been a while, Dad. Wait, what? This is Mr. Pimpleton's son? Are you kidding me right now? No, I was not expecting that, but of course, again, it makes complete sense. Haha, <laughs> we have a lot of planning to do, buddy. Oh, man. Well, uh, apparently we saved the park, but uh, that's not gonna be the end of it. Uh, this is most definitely not gonna be the end of it because Mr. Pimpleton and his son is gonna definitely start creating some more ruckus in the park here and in the city, in the town maybe, I don't know. But anyway guys, now that we have finished this latest story here, let me tell you guys, I'm a little bit shocked. I had no idea that that dude, the boss, is actually the son of Mr. Pimpleton. But again, as I was saying, that, that makes complete sense. And I'm really, really excited to see what developers are going to have in store for us next. Uh, they're definitely going to bring us more stories for this. Because uh, by the looks of it, Mr. Pimpleton is definitely not stopping here. But anyway, guys, as usual, thank you all very much for watching yet another episode of Sneaky Sasquatch. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed yet. And if you guys want to become members just like these awesome fellas right up here and support the channel, do check out the join button at the bottom or the link in the description. Alright, <laughs> everybody, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!